This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number eight from the January 2023 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P3 exam. This question here is about integration and it's specifically integration of trig functions. So here we have to integrate 2 cosine x minus sine x all squared. So of course for to get this ready for integration, I should expand the bracket. I can't use anything like the reverse of the chain rule because outside the bracket is not the differential of what's inside the bracket. It's just a constant outside. So we have to expand the bracket. Okay, so when I expand the brackets, I'm going to integrate. Now, when I expand the bracket, I'm going to have to square this term. So it's going to be 4 cosine squared x. Then I multiply these two together and then double it. So I'm going to have minus... 4 cosine x sine x. I'm going to write it as sine x cosine x because that will make it a bit easier to spot something that I'll show you. Um, so it's 4 times um, sine x cosine x negative because you multiply these two and then you double the answer. And then the last term would be plus sine squared x and that has to be integrated with respect to x. Right Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this we know that um, the sine of 2a is equal to 2 times the sine of a times the cosine of a. This is called the double angle formula. So if I want to write um, you know, this in terms of one ratio, which will make it easier for me to integrate, what I can do is I can write this in the form of a double angle. So I'm going to, I've got my 4 cosine squared x, which I can integrate uh, by changing it i'll show you how to do that also and this is like i can th i think of this as two times two sine x cosine x because i know two sine x cosine x will become sine two x right and this is plus sine squared x with respect to x so now i've got here four cosine squared x minus four um, this is going to be 2 times sine 2x. So this will be 2 times sine 2x. Because this, is, this, is, this whole thing is now, this is the sine of 2x. Plus sine squared x with respect to x. So this is now ready to be integrated. But these two are not. All right. So I'm going to use the double angle formula in order to change these in, in such, in, or express these two in such a way that they can be integrated. All right, now how do I do that? Well, we're gonna use the double angle formula for cosine 2a. Now, if you're not sure how that pans out, you can think of this as cosine of a plus a. And from the formula book, we'll know, notice that cosine a plus b is cosine a times cosine b. In this case, it'll be cosine a times cosine a, which is cosine squared a. Minus, and you'll have sine A times sine B. So this would be sine A times sine B, which would be minus sine squared B. Okay, and now if I want to express this in terms of cosine squared X, or cosine squared A in this case, I can rewrite this by changing this into 1 minus cosine squared A. Okay, so 1 minus cosine squared A. So I have cosine squared A minus, in brackets, 1 minus cosine squared A. So you'll end up with cosine squared A plus cosine squared A, which is 2 cosine squared A minus one now if i want to um you know re rewrite this such a, such that it's in a form where i'm going to have this as a subject because you know i can't integrate this right now but i can integrate something in terms of cosine 2a so if i can rewrite cosine squared a in terms of cosine 2a then i can replace this cosine squared x in terms of cosine 2x so i'm going to now Add 1 to both sides, so I'll have 1 plus cosine 2a and divide by 2. And that's going to be the same as cosine squared a. So I can rewrite this as the integral of, now I'll have 4 times, and I'm going to have a half 1 plus cosine 2x. I can integrate this now. As I can integrate this, this is 2 times sine of 2x. Now with sine squared x, I can do something very similar. I can rewrite this in terms of, I can say cosine of 2a is equal to, now I want to change now cosine squared a into 1 minus sine squared a. 
in which case I'll have one minus sine squared a minus another sine squared a, which is minus two sine squared a. Now here I can make sine squared a the subject by adding two sine squared a to both sides and subtracting cosine two a from both sides and then dividing by two. So I have sine squared a equals a half one minus cosine of two a. Okay, so I can rewrite this as a half times one minus cosine of 2a. And all of that I can integrate with respect to x. And now everything is written in a form which is easy for me to integrate. I can integrate cosine 2x, sine 2x, and cosine 2x very easily. I called it a here, it's x. And this one is x. All right, let me just make that a bit neater. You have a half times 1 minus the cosine of 2x, and all of that integrated with respect to x. Now, let me just kind of, um, you know, tidy this up a little bit first. So I'm going to have 4 times a half, which is 2, and I'll have here 1 plus cosine. So in fact, I'll expand it as well so that I can, if there's any like terms, I can add them together. So this is going to be... Um, that's going to be 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 2 times cosine 2x, that's 2 cosine 2x, minus 2 sine 2x, plus a half, minus a half cosine 2x, and all of that is going to be integrated with respect to x. Don't forget to put this bracket for all of that, integrated with respect to x. So you should also put the dx here, you're integrating all of this with respect to x. So you have 2 plus a half, which is going to be 2.5, which is 5 over 2. So we've got 5 over 2 plus 2 cosine 2x minus 2 sine 2x minus a half cosine 2x. So we can actually um, combine these two together, actually. So you have 2 cosine 2x minus a half cosine 2x. I'll write that as one term. So this is 2 minus a half, which is uh, 3 over 2 because that's 4 over 2 minus 1 over 2, that's 3 over 2 cosine 2x. So now we have everything ready for us to integrate. Okay, so now when we integrate a constant term, it just gains an x. So this is going to become 5 over 2x. And do we have any limits here? No limits. All right, so it's going to be a definite integral, so don't forget we have to write plus c. I should have put, noted that in the beginning. We're going to have to put plus c at the end. Okay, always think about that from the beginning. Then we got to integrate cosine 2x. Now, when you integrate a trig function, first of all, the cosine of 2x, when you integrate it, it becomes the sine of the same angle. And it's positive, because uh, yeah, the differential of sine is cosine, the integral of cosine is sine. But here we've got a function inside the function, so we have to divide by the differential of what's inside the function, so we have to divide by 2. Minus, and when you integrate the sine of 2x, Okay, you're going to get minus cosine 2x. Because when you differentiate cosine 2x, you get minus sine 2x. So when you integrate sine, sine x, you get minus cosine x. So it's going to be minus 2, the cosine of 2x, and then divided by the differential what's inside, which is 2. And then you have your plus c now, because we've integrated. So this is 5 over 2x plus, that's 3 over 4 times the sine of 2x, and it's going to be plus and you're going to have the 2's cancel, cosine of 2x plus c. And there is our answer. So there we have the answer for this question. Um, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section here. Other questions from this topic of integration. This is integration of trig functions. So integration will occur. You'll find the playlist for that appearing in this region over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can... Um, watch the video that will appear over here to tell you how to use my channel in a more efficient manner. Thank you for watching and see you soon.